With deliveries now finally set to get underway, all eyes at this year's Paris Air Show are on the Airbus Military A400M Atlas transport aircraft. Featuring throughout the week in both a flying display and on a static flight line, the European airlifter is being touted as a practical alternative to the already established Boeing C-17 Globemaster III strategic transport and the Lockheed Martin C-130J Hercules tactical airlifter. According to Airbus officials, this ability to deliver a strategic load in a tactical fashion is the principal selling point for the A400M's global marketing campaign, a campaign that begins with earnest this month with the commencement of deliveries of the current 174 aircraft order book. Speaking to IHS Janes ahead of the Paris Air Show, Damien Allard, Airbus Military Market Development Manager, highlighted the fact that in today's climate of shrinking defence budgets, operators need to arrest as much flexibility and capability from their platforms, and the A400M allows them to do this. With a 37-tonne payload, the A400M sits about halfway between that of the C-17, 76 tonnes, and the C-130J, 20 tonnes. But this does not fully convey the aircraft's capabilities. Even though it can carry about half the weight of the C-17, the size of the A400M's cargo hold means that it can carry 90% of the military equipment used today, the 10% exception being main battle tanks. This loadout includes a wide assortment of outsized military equipment, such as two Apache helicopters, one Chinook, one Patriot launching system, two M113 armoured personnel carriers, plus 30 troops, or one M3 bridging system, plus personnel. Not only is the A400M able to carry outsized and heavy payloads, it is able to do so over strategic distances. With 20 tonnes on board, it can fly an unrefueled 3,400 nautical miles, allowing for the deployment of troops directly from Europe. Not only that, but it can deliver them into an austere and unprepared airstrip, rated 6 on the California Bearing Ratio Scale. According to Airbus, this capability would have greatly enhanced the French military airlift during the Mali Operation Serval. Whereas the French Air Force had to rely on C-17, AN-124 and C-130J aircraft support from its allies, resulting in cargo being flown into Bamako International Airport before being trucked 900 kilometres across country to the front line, the A400M would allow the heavy equipment to be delivered directly to the point of need. Once in French service, the A400M will initially be operated out of Orléans near Paris, with other bases transitioning over as deliveries ramp up. The French Air Force is expected to declare initial operating capability in September 2014 with the delivery of the first six aircraft to the service. Prior to this, however, France will declare an interim capability once the first three aircraft are delivered by the end of 2013, so as to contribute one aircraft to the European Air Transport Command. With deliveries beginning this year, Airbus will be relying on the French Air Force to be the de facto leaders of the global export campaign as it shows off the aircraft's capability in real-world operations. There are currently 175 A400M aircraft on order, 53 for Germany, 50 for France, 27 for Spain, 22 for the United Kingdom, 10 for Turkey, 8 for Belgium, including one to be operated on behalf of Luxembourg, and 4 for Malaysia. With delivery of the first four, three to France and one to Turkey, Expected to, expected to have taken place by the end of this year. The UK and Germany will receive their first aircraft in 2014, Malaysia in 2015 and Spain in 2016. Belgium and Luxembourg's order will follow in 2019.